get started. So please put phones away. What do we got for low highs? That's a really good book, Darius, by the way. Like, that's seriously a really good book. I just finished it. Oh. And it's like a really easy read, too, which is pretty nice. Do you like it? Have you started reading it? No. If you end up liking it, her other one mm -hmm. is Never Fall Down, which is, um, she interviewed this guy from Cambodia who, I guess I've heard was like blown off by one of the landmines, because there's more landmines for people in Cambodia. It's really good. Really, really good. And she, if you email her, she'll email like that. She's awesome. She's amazing. Love her. I'm a friend. Um, what do we got for Aloha? Guys, we're not doing so good on our Munchie Mondays, BT Dubs. Well, the reason I did is because someone else did. Who is our next person? We've got, what is, March 22nd. Brooke. Yeah, Brooke. Brooke, you're next. Monday. It's all you. Some Jolly Ranchers or something. <laughs> something simple. Nobody has low highs? Do you know apparently, like chewing mint gum or having mint candies before you take a test is supposed to help you do better? I have no idea why, but I've done some research on it. Having mint right before you take a test? Yes. <laughs> Ward, do you have any low highs? Yes, yesterday I got to go to that sediment in Holland, and it was awesome. So I got to hear a dude talk about beekeeping, which is really fun. <laughs> and chickens, so that was awesome. And then there was, so it's probably one of the best books that was actually done by two high school seniors from Black River High School. And their whole speech was about how most of the curriculum that you take in high school is purposeless and doesn't connect with anything that you do in your real world. And so this is the reason why high school students have little motivation or have lost their passion for, passion for anything. Because everything they do in school is pointless. And that's the reason why you should not take AP classes and should instead do independent study. And it was fantastic. When it finally comes out on video, I'm so showing it to you guys. There's so many of the conversations we have had individually have revolved around very similar things in this process. But it was between the two of them, they were had taken, I think it was 13 AP classes, and they talked about how that push for taking AP classes, specifically in topics that they knew they weren't going to pursue in college, was a complete waste of time. It was an amazing speech. The one thing they gave you about does bump your GPA, so you have yeah, higher That's what they said. They, they, the best quote I heard from that whole speech was high school is treated as a race instead of looking at learning as a journey. Yeah. The only reason they were taking the AP classes is because it looked good for colleges. But then the interesting thing was, especially the guy who's in his low hour, he was saying he, because he's applying to some upper tier um, colleges and some smaller liberal arts colleges, they did interviews. Not a single school asked him about his interviews. Place. Every one of his interviews asked him about his interviews. Because he had an opportunity, went out to Colorado and worked for the summer camp in Colorado. And it was it was all focused on his experience, not so much on the So it was it was a really, really good speech. I'll share it with you guys when we take this hour. Gotta change the system. Don't know how we have to. I don't know how to I don't think we're gonna do this. You don't think we're going to walk again? We take, we're taking government money, so we're not going to be able to change Interesting. Um, and plus, Iona doesn't do, an, doesn't do like early college. Like, people have transferred out of Ionia just to go like Korea or somewhere just to take um, early college. How are you doing at that? I'm doing dual enrollment. It's different. Which early college is you hop out in junior year, senior year, and a year after you get your associate's degree out of college. Huh. That's interesting. So, like Heidi Simon, she hopped out to do that. Yep. I was present in her last year. I think she was the only one that was in
we are going to do our article stuff. Quick reminder about our cell phone things. A couple of you guys weren't here yesterday. We do have a new cell phone policy where you guys don't know when you're getting graded, but you are getting graded based off of how you use your cell phone in the classroom. Just a little reminder, if you're playing your games, Brennan and Zach explained to me what the games were, but I, I don't really get it still. Um, so today we are going to be doing article of the week. You guys all got an article. Matt, I'll hook you up with an article in just a second. You guys are going to break back up into your groups. Remember that your groups are on the back of the piece of paper that I gave you. You guys are going to get a piece of construction paper, and then you're going to explain to me what your article is. You're also going to explain the ethos, pathos, and logos behind it. We talked about that a little bit. You guys can do pictures. You can do writing. Someone in first saw or loved them to death, but they wrote on the entire thing. It was just like a, it was, it was all, you should, I mean, you should include a picture. That'd be cool. Because we're going to present it later on on the screen. So if there's just words, it's going to be kind of boring. So you guys can start by breaking up into your groups. I'll pass out paper. There are markers over there if you guys want to grab some markers.
Okay, so you guys are going to be coming up here presenting and talking to the class. Everybody else, you can take notes on the presentation. You can either do it.
make sure your guys' names are on the sheet and that you're turning them in. I think I'm going to hang them up. I think that's what I'm going to do.